Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to launch the first descendant game on your Windows computer or if you're facing crashing and freezing issue. Now the first step is to simply restart your computer. Do not ignore this step, simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, try launching the game. Now still you're facing the problem, then the next step is to update Windows to the latest version that is version 2 to H2. So type in W-I-N-V-E-R Winver in Windows search box and then click on Winver run command. Now over here make sure your version is 2.2.h2 you have the latest version installed. So and this is for both Windows 10 and Windows 11 users. So update your Windows so open Windows settings go to update and security or windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed restart your computer and then launch the game now if you face any any kind of trouble installing update on your windows 10 or windows 11 computer in that case for windows 11 users you can use windows 11 installation assistant for windows 10 users you can use windows 10 update assistant now i'll show you I'll show one by one for Windows 11 users you can copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to Microsoft website over here you can see Windows 11 installation assistant click on download now and then run this exe file now click on yes to allow and it will check for any update if there is any update it will let you know and you will see install option I have actually Windows 10 so that's why I'm receiving this error but in your case if Windows is not up to date you will see install or update option similarly for Windows 10 users you can copy this link and then open this link in a browser it will take you to Windows 10 website over here you can see update assistant and then click on update now and then run this exe file and then click on yes to allow it will check for update in my case it's already up to date so you will see install option or update option once that is done restart your computer and then launch the game now still you are unable to update your windows 10 or 11 in that case you can use media creation tool to update your windows 10 or 11 if you have windows 10 copy this link if you have windows 11 copy this link windows 10 users go to this website here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see the screen click on accept by default upgrade this pc now would be selected click on next it will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update now this process will take some time now once the download is complete before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So click on install. And once the installation is complete, log into your computer. Now for Windows 11 users, go to this website. Here also you will find media creation tool. Click on download now. And then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now this will load Windows 11 media creation tool. Now click on accept. By default, Windows 11 would be selected. Click on next. Select ISO file, then click on next. You can save the location. You can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here. Now, once the download is complete, click on finish and then go to desktop. Find Windows ISO file. Make a double click on Windows ISO file. Then run the setup file, make a double click on setup file. Click on yes to allow. This will load Windows 11 now. And here you can see install Windows 11. Click on next. It will check for update. Then click on accept. Again, it will check for update. Now, before the installation, you will see the screen which says ready to install. And by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. Click on install. After the installation, log into your computer. Now the next step is to 
do a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system now if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 and then click on start search and then scroll down the latest game ready driver right now is 537.34 so download this so click on get download and then click on download now now once the download is complete run this exe file now once you run this exe file you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check over here first make sure that you put a check over here and then click on next and let the installation complete after the installation restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on browse and then go to the game installation folder if the game is installed in c drive go to c drive open program file 686 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder over here you will find the game folder in my case it's in different drive so open steam folder steam like steam apps folder common folder and then open the game folder now select the game exe file now click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save again click on browse and then open this m1 folder binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on add now once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this go to the game installation folder so make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files it will straight away take you to the game installation folder and then make a right click on the game exe file now select properties and then go to compatibility and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok and then make a double click to launch the game if that does not work open m1 folder binaries do the same thing select this exe file make a right click select properties and again select run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok now make a double click and then launch the game from the game installation folder now still you are facing the problem in that case go back and this time select the first exe file select properties and then this time put a check on the box which says run this program in compatibility mode for select windows 8 and then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work open this folder and select this exe file and do the same thing and then select windows 8 then click on apply click on ok if that does not work this time you can select windows 7 so select windows 7 from the list click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work you can do the same thing with this exe file select windows 7 over here and then click on apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game still the game is not launching in that case you can make a right click select properties uncheck both the boxes and then do the same thing over here uncheck both the boxes hit apply click on ok now follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus just make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings if you have windows 10 click on update and security if you have windows 11 click on privacy and security in windows 11 on the left hand side you will you will find privacy and security option in windows 10 you will find update and security click on update and security now click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection now scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow now click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder now select the, select the game exe file now click on open and once the game is added 
Now again, click on add and allow that browser apps and this time open M1 folder binaries bin64. Select this exe file, now click on open. Once both the exe files are added over here, now type in control panel in Windows search box. So type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Now go to system and security. Now click on Windows Defender Firewall. Now click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now click on change settings on the top. Now click on allow another app. Now click on browse. And again go to the game installation folder. And then open the game folder. Select the game exe file. Now click on open. Now click on add. In my case this is already added. Again click on browse and then M1 binaries win64 select this exe file now click on open and then again click on add in my case both the games are added I have already added it in my case it's already added now once the game is added click on ok and then launch the game next step is to verify the game files this is important make a right click on the game select properties go to the local files tab I'm sorry install files and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game next step is to try dx12 in launch option so make a right click on the game select properties in the general in the launch option box type in dash dx12 one two and then launch the game and then check still the game is not launching in that case you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to Install Visual C++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser It will take you to Microsoft website over here. You can see Visual Studio 2015 17 19 9 22 download x86 and then download x64 And then run both the exe files Make sure that you run both x86 and x64 file. So click on it. Now if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. And then click on yes to allow. And run the second file as well. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. Click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Once both the installation are complete, click on restart. Make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart, launch the game. Now, the next step is to, if you are able to launch the game, then switch to window mode and lower down graphics settings. So if you're not able to launch the game, you can skip this step. If you are able to launch the game, then launch the game. Now, once you launch the game, do go to options, and then go to display. Now over here, select window mode. And then if the resolution is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more. Now, turn off HDR. So if HDR is on, turn it off and then go to graphics. Now over here, you can turn off upscale type. So upscale type, if that is on, you can turn this off and then vSync, turn this off and turn off NVIDIA reflex low latency, turn this off. And the frame rate you can set it to 60. And over here for advanced settings, you can put everything to if everything is set to high, you can try medium or you can even go for low and turn off motion blur and apply the settings and then check the performance. Now the next step is to disconnect additional controller connected to the computer. Unplug these devices. So if you have these devices connected, disconnect. So 
So disconnect all the external devices which you are not using, disconnect it. Also disable Steam overlay. Now for this make a right click on the game, select properties and then under general turn off this option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then launch the game. Also close all the overlay applications. So if you have overlay on in Discord, turn it off. If you have overlay on in GeForce Experience, turn this off. So close all the overlay application. Also close all the overclocking applications. So if you have MSI Afterburner or Revert Tuner running, close it. So close all the overclocking application and then launch the game. Also if you have these services and application running, you can close these services. Make sure that you close everything in leaving Steam. Make sure only the Steam and the game is running. The rest close everything including all your browsers and then launch the game. Now the next step is to remove the underworld. So if you have underworld in your computer, remove the underworld and then launch the game. Also perform clean boot for this. Type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Put a check over here and then click on disable all. In my case this option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case this would be highlighted. So make sure that you put a check on hide all Microsoft services first then click on disable all then click on apply click on ok. You will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So you can type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and click on it and then go click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here. Now select the drive where the game is installed. Uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file for all the drives. So you have to uncheck this box and then select the drive where the game is installed and then the initial size is 1.5 multiplied total RAM. So for example, this is just an example. So for example, if the RAM is 16 gigabyte, so if you have 16 gigabyte RAM, so first of all, we have to convert this into megabytes. So multiply 1024. So 16 GB in megabyte is 16,384. This is the total RAM. If you have 16 gigabyte, if you have 32, you can calculate accordingly. This is just an example. So 1.5 into total RAM. So that is in calculator 16 gigabyte is 16384 megabyte into 1.5. So initial size 24576. The maximum size is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is 16384 in megabyte. multiplied 3 that is 49152 and then click on set and then click on ok and then click on ok apply ok ok now after this make sure that you restart your computer now after the system restart try launching the game now still you are receiving the error message in that case now the next step is to update system BIOS now go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have a Lenovo computer, go to Lenovo. If you have HP computer, go to HP. So go to your system manufacturer website and then select your computer. Make sure that you select your model number and then find the latest BIOS update available. And then install the latest BIOS. Now if you have a laptop, before you update the system BIOS, in case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer. Then update the system BIOS. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now, if nothing works, uninstall and reinstall the game to SSD. So you can uninstall the game. Now, after you uninstall the game, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer, and then reinstall the game to different drive. If your C drive is SSD, then you can try to install the game in C drive that is SSD. So try installing the game to SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.